So this is the Acorn 180 curve. Heads down. 90 degree, 90 degree. Heads down to the end. Just like that. There's your charging point down there. You can see the power they put around and plugged into the wall there. Real simple to do. Battery operated. We are going to remove this bad boy and eventually it'll be a straight run when we're done. Turn the seat down. Armrests have to be down. Right now it says C1, which is charging. There's your power button right down there. When you go to move the switch, there's a pause and then it starts to run. And then it picks up speed. Let go of the button, you're done. Bring it back up. Hit the up button. A2 means upwards. Reaches the contact points down there and then stops. It will not work without the armrest being down because of this switch right here. Safety. I'm going to turn off the power and then turn off the key. I'm going to separate the rail from right here and then we should be able to with the motor gear it straight off we'll see what happens with it off this charging port. <sighs> Maybe just to hold it up in the rail. Okay. Ooh. 
Okay. Let's see what happens here. Let's clip on the rail. Either side. See any set screw. Set screw there. Ah. Set screws are inside. <clears throat> it is. My other piece slid down. Let's see what happens now. Okay. Yep, that's what we're going to do. We need to take it down to a small section. For right now, we're going to take this down to a small section where we will be able to leave this on for now.
And that should work. Yep. Okay. Disconnect the power. Because we parked the carriage on the base down here. From here to here is a small piece. I'm going to leave the carriage on that rail for now. So I'm going to disassemble the rails section by section coming down to that. And then I'm going to disassemble the rails on that side section by section going up. It'll leave that. Once we take that down, we'll carry that out with it. And then. We'll figure out later how to disassemble Johnny Five. So these cables have a little bit of a uh, of a cable uh, cover on it that actually it's good because it fits right up in that rail and it keeps it up in there nice and snug. So um, that's one thing that we'll have to work on getting down. They're going to be in little sections like that right there. Good assembly on it. That's what it was. That's one. Two. There we go. Because all this is going to have to come out for us to get out of the rail. So let's start disassembling the rail. Rail's gonna take some Allen wrenches. So here's the section. So on the back side, we have some Allen wrenches here. Oh, and they're on there pretty good. Inside the top two holes here is going to be the set screw. Here, sorry, inside there. So we want to, you're not removing it, you're just loosening it. Easier when you have leverage. What I'm going to do is I'm just loosening the one side here. There's two sides. Loosen the one. And take off the other. So we have some play. some of these are a little bit rounded and then there's one over there loosen you and then take you out completely So there's the three on one side. Now, when I go to take this off here, we're going to take the nut off first. Loosen that. And then the nut should come off fairly easy. Same thing on this section. Nut. One, 
two sections on that. Now, we're going to go ahead and remove the other part of the allen, which is real easy, and these will fall right out once they come out. Just like that. That's all they do is just tighten on the rail. There's that one. Those are the ones that I loosened. This should have a piece in there. Yep, there we go. Hardware. Not sure. those three. Now we got another one to do. This one here, I'm going to leave this all as one piece and I'm going to separate it from over here. So, one, and the hole to the left. Loosen the set screw. separated from there. We get this bracket off here and then it should come off. One in the same way they came out. It should slide right out without bumping the wall. There we go.
seat from this again. That's probably 20 pounds. Now we are going to take the weight off and slide it out. Don't lift from here, it's plastic covers. You need to find something solid to lift from down there, down here. I'm actually just gonna lift from under the motor and from the rail. Not wanting to budge. It is a little bit, could be cockeyed. So, we're gonna remove that leg. That could be it. Okay, now there shouldn't be anything holding us at an angle where we can't slide it out. Here we go. This thing weighs probably a hundred pounds. we go okay rest should be fairly easy tools I use to disassemble this Phillips screwdriver straight screwdriver this is a eight millimeter Allen head five millimeter Allen head same thing five millimeter Allen head and then a three quarter or 19 millimeter socket to be able to take the big nuts off for the rails, uh, rail mounts. That's all the tools I needed to take this out and to set about all of this. So no one said anything about overkill, but that's where we're at.